The world of Mike Mignola's Hellboy series is a dangerous landscape filled with every imaginable creature from multiple folklore. From sea serpents and mermaids to secret societies who want to rule the world, Hellboy has fought them all. But among all these enemies, there is one enemy named Astaroth, who has no intention of hurting Hellboy. Instead, he wants the best for him, so much so that he goes to the lengths of killing him to bring him back to Hell. Sounds contradictory, right? Well, Astaroth is the brother of Azael and paternal uncle to Hellboy. So it goes without saying that he does have a soft side for Hellboy and wants him to come back to Hell to claim his rightful throne. In today's video, we will dive deep into the backstory, intention, and interaction of Astaroth throughout the comic series and why he wanted to kill Hellboy. But before we get started with the video, we have a small request for you. If you like our content, please subscribe to us and like this video. It might just be a simple click for you, but it means a lot to us. Now that we've got that out of the way, let's Let's get started. Backstory of Astaroth Astaroth was the brother of Azael and the paternal uncle to Hellboy. He was also called the Duke of Hell as he was ruling it while Satan took a slumber in Pandemonium. Azael had somehow procured the right hand of doom and planned to insert it into his son Hellboy. He was soon caught and punished for this by the other demons of Hell. After the death of Azael, Astaroth started taking care of his household and kept a close eye on Hellboy who was later sent to Earth for Project Ragnarok. On May 12, 1947, and he saw young Hellboy, who had just tasted pancakes and loved him. This made him realize that it might be challenging to convince Hellboy to come back to Hell to rule it, as he is getting accustomed to life on Earth. But he was still an adamant that he could persuade Hellboy once he grew up. After a year, in 1948, Gamori, the sister of Hellboy, lured him out of the safety of the BRPD's headquarters and tried to kill him, but Astaroth eventually stopped her. This is when she claims that Hellboy would be the reason behind the death of everyone in Hell. That's why he must be killed. This Regarding her claims, Astaroth warns her to not lay a finger on Hellboy as long as he is alive. It goes to say that Astaroth wanted only one thing, and that is for Hellboy to become the ruler of Hell. Hellboy's First Encounter Hellboy meets Astaroth for the first time in a comic series, Hellboy Box Full of Evil. The story of this comic starts with Hellboy investigating a mysterious case with his sidekick, Abe Sapien. Mr. Heath called them both to discuss the mysterious event where everyone in the household just froze, and a short man entered and stole something from a nearby wall. The short man is later revealed to be Mr. Bromhead, who provides a box he stole from Mr. Heath's premises to Count Guarino and his wife in Scotland. He revealed that the box contained a demon sealed inside it for thousands of years. Count Guarino and his wife wanted to get the powers of this demon and become Satan's followers. But as soon as they opened the box, there was a foul smell and the box was empty. Count Guarino's wife starts screaming at Bromhead for his betrayal, but suddenly a fly enters her mouth and she starts transforming into a demon herself. This is when it was revealed that the demon was Uwalak, a minor demon from hell. Bromhead is already prepared for this with a talisman. He uses this talisman to control this minor devil and asks him about the secret to becoming wealthy. The demon then calls Bromhead about the treasure in the house, but also tells him about the crown of apocalypse, and the one holding it is coming to his doorstep, and also tells him the secret name of the devil holding it. When Hellboy arrives with Abe in the mansion, he is attacked by Bromhead, who uses Hellboy's secret name against him, and takes the crown of apocalypse from him using his spell. But Uwalak takes that crown for himself and becomes the destroyer of the world. Hellboy then recovers and fights Uwalak, while Bromhead runs for his life. In the chase, Bromhead breaks a piece of his talisman, he shuts himself in a room, and summons the Duke of Hell Astaroth to Earth. Astaroth arrives and Bromhead seeks his aid and protection. Instead of protecting him, Astaroth turns half of his body into that of a lizard. On the other side, Hellboy defeats Uwalak, and Astaroth retrieves the crown of Apocalypse. Astaroth then meets Hellboy and returns his crown, but Hellboy denies it, claiming that he isn't the right person to wield this crown. Not wanting to engage in a debate with Hellboy, Astaroth leaves Earth, saying he'll keep this crown safe in pandemonium until Hellboy arrives in Hell and wants his crown back. Role in the Resurrection of the Queen of Blood Astaroth again appeared in the Wild Hunt storyline where he helped Ruagok revive the Queen of Blood, eventually setting off his plan to kill Hellboy. The story starts with Darkness Calls where it is revealed that Bromhead has sealed Hecate and the witches are left without a ruler. Thus, the Witches of England asks Hellboy to be their ruler as her mother was a witch too and the blood runs within him. Hellboy refuses them and finds himself in the lair of Baba Yaga, who wants to take revenge on Hellboy and unleashes an army of 
dead warriors upon him. This leaves the witches without a ruler, but Gruagok appears before them and suggests that they should resurrect Nimue and why she is perfect to be the ruler. All the witches disagree with this idea at first, but later accept that she is their best option, and Gruagok leaves to find the remains of the Queen of Blood. On the other side, it was revealed that Hellboy was transported to the land of Baba Yaga, who haunts him and sends Koshe the Deathless after him. While Hellboy struggles to fight Koshe, he is saved by a little girl who reveals her name to be Vasilisa and reveals how she came in possession of a skull full of fire from Baba Yaga. Vasilisa then uses the light from the skull and shows a doorway that will allow Hellboy to escape Baba Yaga's lair. But suddenly an arrow from Koshe's bow shot this girl and she died in the arms of Hellboy. With her last breath, she gave him two gifts, a handkerchief and a comb. This infuriates Hellboy and he throws the comb given by the girl towards Koshe, which magically grows into a large thicket of trees, trapping Koshe between them. This gives Hellboy a chance to run away, but Baba Yaga uses her magic to breathe power into Koshe, and he goes after Hellboy. Hellboy and Koshe engage in a fierce battle, and eventually Hellboy revealed that Gruagok had already found the dead remains of Nimue, and now was searching for a way to revive the Queen of Blood. This is when Astaroth, who had disguised himself as an old man, appears before him and gives him a ciborium filled with the blood of all the children, women, and men from a nearby village. Gruagok pours this blood on the remains of Nimue, which revives her, and she accepts his role as the Queen of Witches, but she later proclaims herself as Goddess of War. Astaroth again appears in the Storm and the Fury storyline to ask Hellboy to raise the army of Hell to fight Nimue. The story of this comic starts with Hellboy and Alice visiting a church in England. While returning, they are ambushed by an armored creature. Initially, Hellboy struggles to fight this creature, but with the help of Excalibur, he is able to overpower him. Right before his death, this creature claims that Nimue was once the Queen of Blood and now she is the Goddess of War, but soon she will be transforming into something more sinister. Alice and Hellboy then find shelter in a nearby inn and suddenly they are surrounded by the Royal Army of the Dead, who want Hellboy to lead them into the battle with Nimue. Hellboy decides to go into the battle alone without the help of any army. Alice is concerned and asks him if he has any plan to defeat Nimue. Hellboy says he doesn't know how, but he has this gut feeling that he'll be able to fight the Queen of Blood and sets off, leaving Excalibur in the care of Alice. On his way, he meets Astaroth, disguised as an older man. Astaroth gives Hellboy a glimpse of what the army of Nimue is capable of and asks him to summon the army of Hell and use them in this decisive battle against Nimue. Just like always, Hellboy refuses to follow through. This makes Astaroth angry and he leaves Hellboy to meet his destined death. During the battle, Hellboy manages to crush Nimue Nimue and her army, but Nimue also takes him out, and Hellboy ends up in hell just like Astaroth desired from the beginning. The Fate of Astaroth After Nimue takes out Hellboy, he starts descending to hell. He arrives in an abyss which is not yet hell and is attacked by Aligos, whom Hellboy killed in the Wild Hunt storyline. Hellboy struggles to fight him and Edward Grey comes to his rescue. After saving Hellboy, Edward tells Hellboy that he has been tailing him for a long time, but before he can finish, Aligos returns and Edward shoves Hellboy down a staircase to protect him as he fights Aligos. When Hellboy lands, he is greeted by a spirit, and the spirit carries Hellboy to pandemonium. The spirit tells Hellboy not to worry, as all the demons except a few have fled after hearing that Hellboy is arriving. Hellboy is then taken to the Citadel of the Fly, where the spirit shows him his throne, his father's sword, and everything that belongs to Hellboy, but Hellboy refuses to take any of this, and the spirit leads Hellboy to Satan, the demon who had been sleeping for 2,000 years. Then the spirit urges Hellboy to kill Satan and presents him with a dagger. Hellboy is then transported to River Cossetus, where another spirit greets him and tells him how he was born and what his right hand of doom is capable of. When Hellboy returns to the present, he is greeted by none other than Astaroth with the words, Welcome home. Astaroth then tries to convince Hellboy to take his mantle as a ruler of Hell and tells him about the treatment his father endured for giving him the right hand of doom. When Hellboy declines, Astaroth is enraged and invites Hellboy's brothers Gaiman and Lusk to kill him. Gaiman and Lusk attack Hellboy and try to claim the right hand of doom. Astaroth then says to that whoever claims the right hand of doom will be guided by him to the throne of hell. Gaiman then mocks Azael, claiming him to be a fool to give Hellboy the strength to rule. This infuriates Astaroth and he beheads Gaiman for insulting his brother. Lusk is surprised by this act of Astaroth and tries to reason with Astaroth. While they are engaged in a heated conversation, Leviathan, an enormous dragon-like creature, erupts from the ground and swallows Astaroth, Gaiman, and Lusk. It was then revealed that Astaroth and Leviathan had some old grudge and thus Astaroth met his demise at his hands. 
Marvelous verdict. Although Astaroth was not completely evil, his desire to persuade Hellboy to become the ruler of Hell ultimately led to his demise. He never wanted anything bad for Hellboy. Instead, he protected him from Gamori and also kept a watch on him 24-7 to make sure he was safe. But his desire for Hellboy to rule Hell drove him to eventually killing Hellboy just to bring him back to Hell. He was utterly selfish in his endeavor and never thought about the free will of Hellboy and what he actually wanted. His heart was in the right direction, but his actions spoke otherwise. After the consecutive failures of Hellboy's live-action adaptations, there is a new Hellboy movie in the making titled Hellboy the Crooked Man, which will explore the story of the Crooked Man. And there is news flying around that Astroth might be set up in this movie in a post credit scene as the villain for the next installment, or the big bad of the franchise. Although nothing is clear now, it can be said that watching a live-action Hellboy movie with Astaroth, where their family dynamics would be explored, seems like an exciting idea. With that being said, if you liked our content, like and subscribe if you haven't already. Have a good one and be safe. Thanks everyone.